All right, finally, diseases and abnormal conditions. COPD, chronic obstructive, obstructive pulmonary disease. This is long-term incurable. We cannot cure this disease, um, and it's usually caused by another disease. That disease might be asthma, it might be chronic bronchitis, it might be emphysema. Usually it's either chronic bronchitis or emphysema. It could be tuberculosis too, but any of those diseases that have gone on for a long time in, per in a person's life that have now led to this, this, I guess, additional disease where they're having these chronic respiratory issues. So um, just because you have, let's move on to asthma, just because you have asthma does not mean you have or are going to have COPD, but sometimes if you have severe asthma your whole life long, eventually you can also be diagnosed with COPD. But the problem with asthma is that you um, are hypersensitive to the irritants or allergens in the air, and when your, your bronchial tubes sense them, they spasm and inflame, so those tubes are already really small, and if they get smaller, it's going to become really hard to breathe. Think about breathing through a straw all the time. Not good. Um, chronic bronchitis is another very common cause of COPD, but again, just because you have chronic bronchitis does not necessarily mean you have COPD. Um, it's usually caused, if you notice many of these diseases, the most common cause of them is smoking. So chronic bronchitis, long-term incurable inflammation of bronchi. Emphysema is a little bit different from the rest. You'll notice it's an alveolar issue, so the alveoli become damaged. They lose elasticity, so now you have these stretched out alveoli. And if you think about the alveoli being stretched out, when it tries to deflate, it can't completely deflate, which means it can't completely force CO2 out. So carbon dioxide levels in a patient with emphysema are going to be higher. Again, look at the common causes. Tuberculosis. Um, TB, the problem is a bacterial infection, so it's caused by a bacteria. The problem with that bacteria is it creates these um, like lesions in the lung that create scars, and then we have abnormal scar tissue instead of healthy lung tissue, so the lungs can expand and contract nicely and normally. Healthcare workers are screened for tuberculosis. Um, usually it's once a year you have to get the test, which some of you have had it already, um, they just inject it into your arm, and then they watch for a reaction over the course of the next two to three days. Epistaxis is the nosebleed. So common thing that people do when their nosebleeds is to put their head back so, so their nose doesn't drip, but that's the opposite of what you should do. You should actually tilt it down to let it flow and pinch the nose. Pulmonary embolism. We talked about embolisms in, or emboli, in the cardiovascular unit, but an embolism is a, is a clot or an abnormal substance traveling through the body. In this case, it traveled into the blood vessels um, inside the lungs. So if we have a clot or a blockage in the blood vessels in the lungs, think about what cannot happen. We can't have gas exchange occur because blood's blocked before it can get to where it needs to go to drop off its CO2 and pick up its O2. So if it's a big one in a big vessel, they can be fatal, meaning they can cause death. If it's a little one, you can definitely survive it. Pneumothorax is a collapsed lung. So the pneumothorax was a problem with the pleural cavity. Something became damaged and now air was getting into the pleural cavity that surrounds the lung. When air gets into the pleural cavity, there's nowhere really to go, so it starts putting pressure on the lungs, and then the lung will collapse. Usually it happens to just one side or the other, but eventually if you don't fix the one side, then there's going to be pressure on both lungs. So it can be caused by trauma, like a motor vehicle accident, um, can be caused accidentally in medical procedures, or sometimes we don't know, it just occurs spontaneously. So check out your treatments. Um, I know we listed these in the diseases and abnormal conditions, but just think about why we talked about a three-sided dressing. I just think it's really interesting. If you have an open wound in your chest that you hear air coming out or you feel air coming out, if we cover it and tape down three sides, it should be like plastic wrap you cover it with. It needs to be occlusive. Um, then air can still get out from the one side you left untaped, but when the person tries to breathe in and suck in, that dressing over top is going to prevent air from getting in, which is going to prevent the pleural space from filling up with more air. So just kind of cool. Thoracotomy would be um, draining out the air with a needle. It can also involve placing a chest tube. So a chest tube will stay in for a longer period of time, maybe a couple days. Um, and then that chest tube has... Um, like a container attached so that air or fluid can continue to escape. Sleep apnea. Apnea meaning lack of breathing during sleep, long pauses. Um, 
like a minute or longer. Causes can be because of a brain issue. Remember, the medulla controls the, the breathing. So if there's a brain issue, your medulla stops sending messages while you're asleep. Or it can be obstructive, which is an airway issue. The airway obstructive sleep apnea is oftentimes seen in patients who are overweight or obese. So sometimes weight loss can help because that can actually change the anatomy of the airway itself. So your neck skinnier, you're not having as much pressure on the airway. Um, CPAP we already talked about can also be used overnight in patients' homes to help them breathe during sleep. Lung cancer is the most fatal or deadly type of cancer because it's hard to detect. Signs and symptoms show up late. Um, people say sometimes the, the symptoms that they experience just they feel like they have a cold. But the thing is it's not, you know, cold you get better in a couple weeks. Lung cancer, you won't get better in a couple weeks, so it doesn't go away. And the other problem with lung cancer is it spreads easily. So it starts in your lungs, but then it can what's called metastasize or spread all over the body. Um, most common causes smoking, as we talked about with a lot of these diseases. Influenza, the rest of these are all infections. So the flu is an infection caused by a virus, very contagious virus. Because it's a virus, antibiotics don't work because, if you remember, antibiotics are primarily used for bacteria. Um, but they can be used for other types of organisms, not viruses. Yearly vaccines are developed, but if you think back to our infection control unit, viruses mutate. So the vaccine that was used last year won't necessarily be effective next year because the viruses change all the time. So that's why sometimes you still get the flu when you get a flu vaccine. Pneumonia is an infection inside the alveoli of the lungs. So you usually have like extra fluid that's infected inside the lungs and the alveoli. So this is deep down in the respiratory system, as deep as you can go. Usually a virus can be a bacteria. Pleuritis is an infection in the pleura, usually accumulation of infected fluid there so they can drain out the fluid with the thoracentesis. Upper respiratory infection is really the common cold, which is pretty much always a virus. Um, so because it's a virus, again, we can't use... They will not use antibiotics for a cold. Instead, we just can take some medicine to help us feel better, but that's not going to speed your recovery. It just has to go away. Your body has to find a way to attack it. Rhinitis is a nose issue. Allergies or infection can cause that. Sinusitis is when your, your sinuses and your around your nose and your eyebrows get become inflamed. You've maybe had that before. Usually a virus can be a bacteria. Laryngitis. Remember, your larynx is your voice box. So when you have laryngitis, you'll know because you'll have um, problems with your voice. And then bronchitis is a lower respiratory issue in the bronchi, usually from an infection too. So that is all. Again, please email. I kind of I tried not to take too long on this, but if I went too fast or, or whatever and you need more help, please just email and I'll pay close attention to my email today. Good luck, guys, and um, keep in touch.